Listen to all my adoptees. I got a new sign for you real quick. Here's your new sign. I know that looked like Atlanta, but we're going to call this adoption. And this sign actually means that you have been chosen. You know, I often think about when I found out that I was adopted. Of course, I was adopted when I was three months old, but I found out when I was seven years old. My mother, who loves God, but she still cuss a little bit. I got to tell y'all that. Don't laugh at my mama. Don't talk about my mama. Y'all pray for my mama here. All right. And so I remember my mother never letting me go with anybody in the neighborhood because she was very protective of her little baby. But on this particular day, she changed her mind. She said, Willie, you can go with your neighbors across the street and y'all can drive to the grocery store, wherever you guys going to go. Just make sure when you come back, you come home. Sure, mama, no problem. We get in a van, one of those worker man vans with no, no seats in the back, that if you go to the left, you fall to the right, and if you go to the right, you fall to the left. Many of y'all too young to know what those worker man vans were, but I'm in that van, and these kids, they begin to sing. They start singing a song that I will never forget. They sung, I don't mess with adopted kids. Mm -hmm. I don't mess with adopted kids. Mm -hmm. And you know, I'm seven years old at the time, so I decided to sing with him. I don't mess with a dot big kids. Mm, mm. So I sing this song with, don't laugh, okay? So I sing the song with them. And then this girl, she looks at me in the eyes as she pauses and she says, Willie, we singing about you because you're adopted. And I remember looking around with so much disappointment in my heart. But as you know, as a person who's been through foster care or has been adopted, you're able to put your face on even in the midst of your pain. So I put my face on and I and I, I began to smile and I denied, denied, denied. But when I got out of that van, just as my mother told me, I ran to the house and I ran in and I scurried in with a, with a, with a lot of tears in my eyes. And I said, Mama, Mama, those people, the, the, the people across the street, they said they said something. She said, what did they say? I said, they said that I'm that I'm a, that I'm a, that I'm adopted. And she said. You you wait right there. Now, I told you in the beginning of the story that my mother, she loved God, but she still cussed a little bit. And then she told me to wait right there as a seven-year-old. You know, I was disobedient. I peeked through the window. I seen her go up the, the hill to see the girls. And I seen her finger pointing like this, and her curl was going just like this. And then when I seen her curl going left and right, I knew that that was the time that she wasn't praying. She was probably cussing, <laughs> right? She comes back down. My dad comes into the room. They look me in the eyes. And they said, Willie, what those children spoke of across the street was true. You are adopted. And I remember looking at both of them in the eyes and I said, well, mom, dad, am, am, I, am, I, am I a dog? They said, a dog? Why would, you, why would you say you're a dog? I said, because that's the only thing I ever seen on television to be promoted for adoption. And I remember these next words that I want to share with you to every person who's getting the privilege of being upgraded to adoption. They looked me in the eyes and they said, no, you're not a dog. You're chosen. And from that moment on, I went through life. Even today, five foot nothing, a hundred and nothing. I walk in the room like I'm seven feet tall because my mama told me I was chosen. And I just believe by faith that in this moment, I don't know what's going on in your mind. I don't know what's going on in your heart. Prayerfully a celebration. But I never want you to forget these words because there'll be some times where you begin to think like, what if this would have happened? Or do I belong in this situation? But I never want you to forget these words. You, you, you are chosen. And you were chosen for this moment. And you were chosen by your parents. And you were chosen by the creator to endure something that